Hey everybody, welcome back to speech group. Okay, so yesterday we talked about healthy habits, how to stay healthy and strong. So we talked about drinking healthy things like milk and juice and water. And we talked about eating healthy things like vegetables and fruit and chicken and noodles. So today we're going to talk about going to the, who's this? Doctor. Everyone has been to the doctor, every single one of you, and your mommies, your daddies, your grandmother, your grandfathers, your brothers, your sisters, everyone goes to the doctor. Sometimes they go when they're feeling sick, and sometimes you go to just to get a checkup, just to see if you're healthy. So today we're going to talk about going to the doctor. And while we're talking about it, I'd like you to look with your eyes, listen with your ears, talk and answer questions with your mouth or signing, and pay good attention. Okay, just like you do at speech group, it's the same thing, except you're at your home. Okay, so today, Jessie is going to go to the doctor. She feels okay, she feels good, but she's going for a checkup. So there's Jessie. <clears throat> Here's a box of doctor, doctor set instruments. Now, sometimes the doctor wears a white coat like this, and sometimes they don't. All of you have worn my little doctor coat. Remember, you've all taken turns being doctor in the classrooms during speech group. And sometimes you were the patient, sometimes you were the doctor, but you've all worn this little white coat. Now it's my turn. I washed it. There. Now I feel like a doctor. Uh-oh, this looks silly. It's too long, I need to fold it up. You guys must have long arms because you don't need it folded up. Okay, all right, we're going to go with Jesse to the doctor. What should we do first? Let's see. What is this? Some of you know what this is. Steph, stethoscope. It's a long word. It's three syllables. Stethoscope. Stetho means chest. Okay, so we put this. Do I put it in my nose? Yucky. Do I hang it like this? Silly. Do I put it in my ears? Yes, because I'm going to be listening. What am I going to listen to? Let's see. This is the listening part. So when you go to the doctor, the doctor puts the stethoscope on your chest because in your chest, there's a heart and your heart goes boom, 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 boom. And you also have lungs. Your lungs help you breathe. They get full of air. And then you can let it out. Do it with me now, breathe in. So the doctor listens to your chest to make sure your lungs are okay and your heart is okay. So let's do it with Jesse. 
Okay, Jesse, breathe in. Breathe out. You guys help her. Help her breathe in. Ready? We'll do it together. Good. Did you do it? So he puts the stethoscope, or she, doctors can be a man or a lady, on different parts of their chest. Boom, 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 boom. I hear it. It sounds good. You have a healthy, strong heart, Jesse. And the doctor also listens to your back. Breathe in. Breathe out. The doctor is listening to your lungs from the front and from the back. It doesn't hurt. It feels kind of good. Okay. So we're all done with the stethoscope. Put that away. What's next? Here's another tool, another doctor's tool. This is called an otoscope. An otoscope, auto means ear. The doctor puts it in the ear, this part in the ear, and this part, they look inside. First one, and then the other. Doesn't hurt, it kind of tickles. Let's do it with Jessie. Okay, Jessie, these are her ears right here. He puts, he or she puts the, step, the uh, autoscope in. Have a look, oh, very clean. You have very clean ears, Jessie. You must take lots of baths and showers. That's good. Let's look at the other one. Oh, very clean. Can you see in there? Pretty clean, huh? Good job, Jesse. Okay, so autoscope, done. Stethoscope, done. What's next? The doctor likes to look in your mouth. What is he looking for? Is he looking for food? No. Is he looking for candy in there? No. He's looking to see if your throat looks good. Do you have a sore throat? Sometimes he goes like this first. Hmm. Do you have a swollen throat? No? It feels good? And then he looks inside like that. Ah. Uh, you have to open your mouth very wide. Ah. Uh, sometimes stick your tongue out. Ah. Uh, and then he uses a little light to look inside. Let's do it with Jesse. Okay, Jesse, you're going to open your mouth. We have to pretend. Ah. Uh, She's being good. Oh, your throat looks very good. It's not red. It's not swollen. It doesn't hurt. Good. Okay. Throat all done. The doctor takes your temperature with a thermometer takes your temperature, you see the little numbers there, to see if you're hot or not. You can take your temperature in different ways, but a lot of doctors, they do it on the forehead. They go like this, beep, 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 beep. And then they look, oh, it looks okay. You're not hot. If it's hot, that means you're sick. You need to go to bed. If you're hot, that means you're sick. You need to rest. Go to sleep until you're feeling better. Okay, let's see if Jessie has a temperature. Let's see if she has a fever. Fever and temperature are the same thing. Okay, Jessie, ready? It doesn't hurt. It kind of tickles. Ready? Beep, 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 beep. Let's see if she's hot. 
You sit there, Jesse. Let's see. Oh, not hot. Jesse's feeling good. Phew. No medicine today. Thermometer all done. Hmm. The other thing the doctor might do is to squish your belly a little bit to see how you feel. Because in your belly you have all the intestines where your food goes and your liver and other organs in there. So he feels it like this. Squishy, 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 like this. It doesn't hurt, it kind of tickles. Is everything okay in there? Yes? Yes. Good. Okay. Sometimes you need a shot. Nobody likes the shot. He puts it on your arm and beep, it just takes a second, one second, beep, so quick. It's okay. It's okay to cry a little bit. It's okay to go, eh, but it's over in a second, then all gone. And the shot keeps you from getting sick, so you won't get sick. You won't get big sicknesses. Okay, so Jessie, are you ready? Help me give her a shot. Say, it's okay, Jessie. It's okay, it'll be over in a second. Okay, let's do it. Oh, all done. Oh, you were very brave, Jessie. Very brave. You see, it only took one second, and then it was all gone. You know what she wants? She wants something. Shot, all done. She wants a Band-Aid. And she wants a Paw Patrol Band-Aid. Did you guys see Paw Patrol? She likes the doggies in Paw Patrol. Okay, I'm gonna put it on her. Open the Band-Aid. Put it on Jesse. There. She's got her Paw Patrol band aid. You were very brave, Jesse. You went to the doctor. He listened to your chest. He looked in your ears. He looked in your mouth. Ah. Uh, he squished your tummy to see if everything's going good. And you got a quick little shot. You did a good job, Jessie. She wants to go and play now, but she's all done at the doctor's. Okay. So when you go to the doctor, be brave. It's okay, it's a good thing. And wave bye-bye to the doctor when you're finished and say, see you again soon, doctor.